Hello my fellow gamers and Total War fans and welcome to Total War Saga Troy. Paris of Troy must pay. Thanks to the Creative Assembly, I get to show off this exciting new game to you early. You will be able to play it for free from the 13th of August, but grab it quickly on the Epic Game Store as it will be free to keep only for the first 24 hours. If you are late, you will have to pay. Now let's go down a list of newsworthy changes to the Total War formula in Troy. Brother, your foolish passion has doomed us. Total War Saga Troy is set in the Bronze Age, and that reflects the down-to-earth unit roster. The gods in the game are only passive and offer buffs for the cost of offerings. Diplomacy is what you're used to, but with more focus on trade relationships and alliance building. Resources are much more complex with five different types all having special uses. There are two main factions and two sets of four characters to choose from. My name is Peter and if you're new to my channel I want to welcome you and point you to a playlist up here on the right and in the description below to which I will be adding all my new videos about this game. Everything from battle tutorials, campaign tips and tricks to units and hero comparisons and strategy showcases. So first and foremost we are now in the Bronze Age. Units start off from bare-chested warriors with just wooden clubs, all the way to heavily armored and shielded spearmen. There are also chariots and different kinds of ranged units, but this is a very down-to-earth Total War unit roster, so don't expect to bring major firepower or mythical creatures to the battlefield. The more complex units you want to recruit, the more advanced resources you have to spend on them, and I will explain more in the section about resources. So since the unit roster is less diverse, the unit types themselves offer more variety. Infantry has the most varied units thanks to the introduction of weight classes like light, medium and heavy. Those among you who have disliked the character duels in Total War 3 Kingdoms will be happy to see them gone in this game and replaced with more realistic mini battles between the hero unit commanders during the actual battles. As I have mentioned the resources are far more complex and there are five types of them in Troy. Food, wood, stone, bronze and gold. Each one is more scarce than the next and harder to produce. Food being the most abundant and most used and gold of course being the most rare and hardest to produce, but luckily the least used. Wood and stone are mostly used for building construction, with stone becoming more necessary the higher you go in the tiers. Bronze is, as you can imagine, used for tools as this is the Bronze Age after all, and what other tools are most used than weapons in Total War games but even bronze will get you only so far down the unit roster as gold is required for the top units and characters. On the other hand, armies march on their stomach, so food is a necessity for both army upkeep and low tier unit recruitment. Each region and settlement have a partial production of these resources and some naturally produce more than others. Trade is how you gain more resource variety when you start a new game and this creates future ties with other factions which makes alliances possible between good trade partners. Now please don't mind me taking a second to remind you to hit that like button below if you have been enjoying this video and leave a comment or even subscribe if you would like to see more such content in the future. Another use for food is making gods pleased with you. You can make a large offering and start off on the right foot with a deity of your choice depending on which buffs you want for your kingdom. But that won't last you long as the Olympian gods are well known for their insatiability and so stone and wood will be required to build temples and other buildings to keep your faction in their good graces. Being a devoted follower and worshipper of one god ultimately unlocks more recruitment options for units and agents inspired by mythical tales. As this total war is a saga of a singular major event in history and myth, the faction choices are limited to the two warring sides of the Aegean, Troy and the Messian Greeks. Each side is represented by the major characters known from literature like Hector, the Shining Helm champion of Troy and the heir to King Priam, and Agamemnon, the king of Messians, who lusts for even more power and glory awaiting him across the sea at the gates of Troy. Total War Saga Troy can be claimed for free exclusively on the Epic Store on the 13th of August. And if you would like to prepare for your first battle and campaign turns, stay tuned in on my channel for videos covering these subjects and much more. Thank you for watching and happy gaming!